Start from zero. Yeah, start from zero. Okay. What have I done? Are you ready? What have I continued to do? What have I done? He get my family. Yeah, like yeah man. Uh, <laughs> such experience. <laughs> such a CV. Hey, 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 what have I done? Get the fuck out of here, man. Oh. What's up guys and welcome to Hops and Barrels, your soon to be number one alcohol review channel. I am your host Isaac Vishaba and today I have a special, special, special guest. You have seen him, you have seen him on multiple TV shows. A multi-billion viewer, okay multi-million viewer TV show. You have loved him, you have Hated him. Hated you him. have seen him. Niggas oh. haters. You have literally <laughs> seen him in his most vulnerable state, what? looking for love. Most vulnerable. <laughs> Your vulnerable state. Welcome to the show, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. This nigga said vulnerable, bro. <laughs> so you literally just went on to the show, man. All the full shot. Yeah, full on, full well and well. Like I was just like, you know, you know, let me just try something new, man. Let me just. So guys, today we are going to be reviewing Murray Head's blended Scotch whiskey, the Blue Seal. By the way, they do have various other seals, but today we are reviewing the Blue Seal. So looks this crisp. is more of a dad. Yeah, it looks crisp. We will we'll try it out here. We'll it, it, it looks like it's made mostly from 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 a, a concentration of rye. But a concentration of the rye is not the bread. They, they used to, to make whiskey. They used the bread. Rye bread. Rye bread. Rye wheat. A grain. Like of oh, oh. <laughs> A grain of rye. You like um, the that and wheat and yeah and, and malt. So when it's whiskey is usually like a mixture of all of them. Single malt is like made from solely malt. Malt, malt. Yeah. yeah it's malt. Remember, we do not constitute as a professional opinion. We just enjoy <laughs> <the> drinking. What's that? What's that? Single whiskey. That's what. Did you? Okay, okay. So, guys, <laughs> it is a. Blended Scotch whiskey. Thank you. <laughs> it, is a, it, is. it is a blended Scotch whiskey. <laughs> there is a difference between blended Scotch whiskeys and there's a difference between single malt whiskeys. So you know the ingredients that go into them, but then when they are blended, you know that there is a combination of rye, there's a combination of malt. Yeah, I know you did that on purpose as well. What? This. <laughs> I didn't do anything on purpose, but like, I'm gonna get banter. As we get into the first segment, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at first of all, or first first of all, mm -hmm. first of all, the packaging. We're going to be looking at the size. We're going to be looking at the ABV or the percentage, the alcohol percentage, and then we're going to be just discussing it in general before we move on to the second section, which everybody loves, which is the actual dry taste test. Steve, what do you think about the packaging itself? Well, it's it's it's, it's quite simplistic. Does it feel like your date that it might have been What does it feel like, Steve? <laughs> Who comes up with you? <laughs> Who came up Don't with worry, you? man. Don't I'm worry. We've deep, got a team. Man, really got We've got a team. <laughs> We've got a team of people that write our questions for us. Don't worry who asked the questions. I hate them. <laughs> I hate you. I hate the whiskey. I hate the camera light. I hate, I hate you, Mulukala, in the background. <laughs> yeah, you know. So you don't like the packaging? You, keeps you warm at night. Doesn't complain. What? Yeah. That, that, that oddly makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oddly makes sense from my experience with drinking whiskeys. Yeah. You are getting. And, and, and this is in no way objectifying women. Not at all. What we're saying is that if you are we're just saying like this, we love women so much that anything we, near them women 
you will love just as much. Just, just, we are, we are, we are just making sure of that you guys know that you guys are as fine as a blended scotch. Can I just claim it all the time? So you are getting 43% of oh, alcohol content here. Yeah, 43% keeps you warm. That is the standard. The ABV, 43%. So this is going to keep you warm at night. Well, firstly, I, I need to taste it, like, just to understand if I'm gonna have to mix it with anything. Okay. Um, okay, can we can we do something? Just just because we have Steve on the show, we once we get to the taste test section, can we please compare the first sip that you take to the three dates that you had on Date My Family? <laughs> yes. So you're comparing yes to the families. I didn't even monetize that episode yet, but my, my friend here. Ah, to a monetization. <laughs> Don't worry. You, now we if, can do that. We can do that. Okay, okay. So guys, we are about to. We are going to. So we've gone through everything. We have talked about the container. We've talked about the size. You're getting a 750 milliliter bottle, 43% ABV. Again, for the series of episodes that we have been doing for the uh, this period of time, you can find this on Take a Lot. But we will get into that at the end of the video. And now we're going to get into the most important part, the taste test, where Steve is going to compare Murray Head's blended scotch whiskey to one of his families in Date My Family. <laughs> All right, guys, we are now here at the second segment of the show, the actual taste test. So after this, we are going to be hearing how it tastes, and then we will be looking at things that you can pair this with, and also if you are going to plan on dashing. If we talk about dashing, what would you dash this with? Um, most likely, my first choice would be ginger ale. Ginger ale. Yeah, um, it would be ginger ale. Fella. Yeah, it's ginger ale. Fella. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ginger, okay, you yeah. honestly haven't been drinking alcohol for a while, while, okay? I, 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 okay, the other day I bought um, Chivas and I, and I dashed it with, with, with ginger ale and it was quite nice. And you felt nice about yourself after all? Yes, why? You didn't feel disrespectful at all? No. It's it's blended whiskey, but it's not that big. Alright. Like, uh, I'll, I'll, like, cask, proper cask mature. Like whiskey, like single, single malt whiskey. Oh. Mm -hmm. What would you blend that with? Ice. Then? With ice, just with ice. Yeah. So now we are about to get into the dry taste test. So guys, remember, this is the first time that we taste this with you guys. Yeah, stop talking, just pause it there. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so, <laughs> so, 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 yeah, this is, you know that when you're in the Hobson Barrel's house, you either have the choice of two options. Can One finger or two fingers. Start? Yeah. So, you know what you just did now, like yeah. having to present the drink before pouring it. Yes. Is the reason why I stopped taking pictures of food because by the time I eat them, the f***ing cold. <laughs> oh, <I'm, laughs> but it's alcohol. It's alcohol. Yeah, yeah but I'm, what I'm saying is I'm salivating and you're taking it forever. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry that I want to let you guys know about the history of what you are drinking. This is not just about drinking motai motai wogan man. You must understand what you're drinking and respect the alcohol. So one or two fingers? Um, two fingers makes sense. Two fingers? Yeah. Alcoholic. One. Alcoholic. So date my family hyena. <laughs> <laughs> two fingers. Oh, Steve has asked for two fingers, so I don't think, as the host of the show, I cannot let him have two fingers by himself, so I will also have two fingers. Jesus. So guys, we are about to have the dry taste test. Are you ready, Steve? <laughs> really? Yeah. Right. Cheers, man. It's good things in better times. It's good things in better times. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad. It's not bad, guys. It's not roughly blended. It's so smooth and it, it passes by so. It does. It does. So smoothly. You'd expect it. You'd expect it yeah, to have some I mean, spike as it goes down yeah. because it's blended. It's not, not single more. Yeah, you yeah, know, I can, I can. And it, it's, it's a terrible thing for me. I guess I'm a meathead. So we haven't even gone to the rating yet. He's already giving it a 10 out of 10. What's 10 out of 10 I already? Even, I didn't even know there was a rating. There's a rating, man. 
for blended whiskey, this is this is very good because with with uh, other blended whiskeys, the taste is quite strong. Yeah, yeah. It's and at some point, so you dense it down with something too. sometimes. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm saying I achieve this with um, because it, it was just too strong for me. Passing, like passing from my throat to the palate, it wasn't a very unpleasant experience. Yeah. So this this definitely goes in and it allows you to taste it as well. It doesn't burn your mouth too quickly. It doesn't. Yeah. This is this is actually very delicious, guys. Yeah. Like I, I'm sure, I'm sure the guys behind the camera are just waiting there, wondering how the hell does this <laughs> taste. Guys, get yourself a music. This is a whiskey. This is honestly amazing. This is honestly amazing, guys. And what can and, I have to say? Like yeah. um, I've never really understood the culture of um, necessarily like buying buying expensive alcohol. Like yeah, sometimes it's just brand buying. But obviously, you know, some people like life, life of opulence, but no, I'm, I'm, I, I love it too, but you know, um, I, I don't think. Or maybe it's because I don't have the money, maybe. But I don't yet. Know. Yeah, but 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 I, I honestly don't see myself buying a hundred and fifty thousand rand bottle of a twenty-five year old whiskey or under twenty-five thousand. Well, when you have the money, okay, yeah, uh, it, it doesn't make sense it's as a normal. Excessive. It's, it's quite excessive for alcohol. Okay, okay, okay. 150,000 is a vehicle. Do you understand that? Yes, 150,000 <laughs> is a vehicle. Is a ve- yes. Okay, guys, do not spend 150,000 on alcohol. If you do that, make sure that you at least have a vehicle already. Because if you're spending 150,000 on alcohol and you do not have a vehicle yet. Listen, you could really, you could really just add to your fleet and, and stop that rich dad poor dad mentality that a, a car is not, is not an asset. It is if you're using it for the right things, okay? If you're using it to perpetuate an income, then of course it is a is it non carbon Yeah, it's a current asset in the company. Yeah. Again, guys, he is giving us the same <laughs> advice that he was giving in Take My Family. I love this today. I love this episode, guys. Yeah, Remember in the episode in my, the second family. You were busy giving them tips. You were busy telling them yeah. that it's a non-current asset. It's current at the current point in time, but it cannot be current wait, 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 after wait, wait, it is recurring wait, wait, wait. of the currency wait, of the wait, current wait. assets. I really, I, I really to be connected, man. Mm. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we already spoke about watch. Buy a code. watch, damn it. A watch, and that's not wasting money. No, it's can you waste time. This nigga bar. This nigga. Hey, this nigga. I felt that one. I felt that. That should be in an album, man. Yeah. That should be in an album. That should that's be in an right, album. Though. How could you waste time? Don't waste time. Don't waste no, time. No, 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 yeah, no, no. no it's Corona time. times, man. <laughs> I know it's no one meter, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, if you're not having sex, I hope you're masturbating because that also keeps you. If a hot man, you're mixing it with water, plain. It's very jam, That water. That still. water, still, I almost said spirit water, sparkling water, <laughs> still water. You're mixing it with cola. You're mixing it with soda water. Strangely, you can also mix Murray Head specifically with pickle juice. What? It is exactly. We can't say it on the show. We're not monetized yet. Let's start all that stuff later on, once we get to that point. So if you're also looking to pair this with some food, you are looking at pairing it with your red meats, you're looking at your lambs, you're looking at your beefs, you're looking at dried fruits. So if you're just looking to just chill, spin some dried fruit in your arms, in your hands, <laughs> Don't think you can spend dried fruit in your arms. Oh, man. Dried fruit in your hands. Just dried fruit. I like how you just connected yourself. Yeah, I had to, I had to check because yeah. I was thinking of the motion itself. So, Steve, after we've done the taste test, we've done everything, we've looked at Murray Head's blended scotch whiskey. How much do you think this would cost the regular person after your taste, after everything? Well, it should like be a good 320. Yeah, 320. 320. Yeah. So, at the time of the recording of this video, 
this bottle of Murray Heads blended squash whiskey is 169 rand. That's, that's really important, man. I can actually buy two bottles. You could buy two. Bottle. How much is a cheapest bottle? Cheapest like 330. Yup. 315. And the 750, eh? Yeah. So, for one Shiva's bottle, you could buy two Murray Head, Murray Heads blended squash whiskeys. It's a delicious man. It's a delicious. So, so like in the range, like how do they how do they rank? Is this like one of their finest or one of their most expensive? So I noticed that they also have a silver seal. So they go according to seals. So they've got blue seal and silver seal. And I think silver seal is the 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 upper echelons, the ones that you have to drink with a bow tie or a tie and a black suit with penguin wings and you have to find ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you can't just drink it three beads and I'm working with beanies in the background <laughs> <laughs> you get me it's cashmere <laughs> <laughs> but you get you 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 So out of ten, now we're at the rating. Out of ten, what would you okay, get? I, I don't wanna. Okay, for a blended whiskey, mm -hmm. not for whiskey in general. Mm -hmm. For blended whiskey, ah, it's about ten. Man. It's, 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 it's honestly it's, just ten, full ten. Okay, I'm gonna give it a ten. Man. Mm -hmm. At least you know, let it let it suffer. I can say eight and a half. Eight and a half. That's a good price. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it's it's just friendly. You know, it's just friendly to you. You yeah. know, and I like the fact that it's of mixed heritage because it says here it's uh it's an express. It's, it's 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 produced in Scotland, so it's yeah. Scottish it's Scottish whiskey, yeah. but then it's bottled in France. So it's got a mixed heritage. It's, it's produced in Scotland, yeah, it's not like it says so on the bottle. Produced in Scotland, bottled in France, but the origination is the United Kingdom, so it is well, well mixed race. <laughs> no, it's so it's got a mixed heritage. So yeah. eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. It's it's, I it's, it's okay. very smooth. Like it I is, agree it, with you. It is very smooth. It's it's easy to take alone. Uh, some 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 blended whiskeys yeah, are very high. harsh. Like yeah, they're they're for they're for when you have suicidal thoughts actually. <laughs> 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 So man, hey, we just be like just just finishing it, yeah. man. Just hurry has <laughs> let the scotch whiskey. I'll wait for the lawsuit, man. Man, just will you have suicidal thoughts? No, I'm talking about like another blended whiskey which are harsh and like give you suicidal thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, can you please explain? Because we need I'm to saying, explain. I was saying that those whiskeys are so harsh on you. Yes. That um, they only make sense that if you're trying to self harm or kill yourself, oh, you would only consume oh, them at okay. those times because okay, okay. But that makes more sense, <laughs> and it has now become a lighter note. Yes, we do not promote self harm on this channel. I agree with Steve on giving um, Murray heads and hey man, eight point five. My descriptives are wild, and I'm a very descriptive person, so. We know, we, we know, we know. We should be used to them by now. We know. So, guys, that is uh, the review of Murray Head's blended squash whiskey. Thank you very much to my guests for the first and the last time will be when we do the silver seal and you will never see him again because his responses are too wild so please guys remember hey man, it's, it's great having you it was great being here uh, the week yeah, is amazing i'm happy that you were here but yeah 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 um so remember so, hold so this. where the ice is yeah, i'll give you ice now yeah okay for the guys that are wondering where the ice is the ice is there it's in the fridge we have ice if we can get Marie Hens whiskey, we can afford ice and my yarn. <coughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> don't forget, guys, it's not only about drinking responsibly, but it's about living responsibly. Until the next review, I'm Isaac Lashawa. I'll see you next time. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah.